Hey guys, welcome to Safi Max with another video tutorial on Mathematica. In this video, I would like to introduce the viewers with a few more commands. For sake of convenience, I would like to begin from the definition of list. A list is a sequence of numbers, alphabets, or anything else separated by commas and enclosed within curly braces. For example, here I have constructed two different lists. One I am denoting with list 1, whose elements are alphabet and every element is followed by a comma, all enclosed inside a curly brackets. The second list I am constructing from numbers. Every number is followed by a comma and all of them are enclosed inside curly braces. So these two define two different lists. Arithmetic operations on lists are carried in the same fashion as the arithmetic, as the arithmetic operations on number. For example, I can add these two lists to each other by just putting a plus sign between them. If I run this, I'll get another list where each element of one list is added to the corresponding elements in the next list. So you see, 1 is added to A, 2 is added to B, and so on. If I want to multiply each member of a list with a number or an alphabet, I just multiply that number with the name of the list. If I run this out, then every element of list 1 will be multiplied with 2 and you see that has been done over here. For lists of very really large elements, it is sometimes difficult to count the number of elements within a list. However, Mathematica do that very easily through the command of length. Just enclose the list in square brackets as argument to the command length and it will give you the number of elements. So we see in this one there are four elements and the length command produces four. The elements of a list can be arranged in ascending order by using the command sort. To understand this, consider a list of numbers whose elements are randomly arranged. Such a list I have written over here with name list three. You see, the numbers are randomly arranged. 8 is lesser than 12, and 12 is greater than 1, 1 is lesser than 4, and so on. If I want to arrange these elements in ascending order, I have to enclose list 3 as the argument to sort command. And you see all the elements are arranged in ascending order. One can add elements or list to a list through the append and prepend commands. For example, if I want to add an element to a list, I have to write the list name and the corresponding element as argument to the append command. Here, I'm, I want to add element E as the last element to list 1 and I'm writing them as the argument of a pen command. If I run this out, E will be added as the last element of list 1. Similarly, I can add E as the first element by enclosing it inside the square brackets as argument to the prepend command. If I run this out, you will see E is added as the first element to list 1. Similarly, one can add the elements of one list to the elements of another list through the append command. For example, here I want to add the elements of list 2 as the last elements to the elements of list 1. In this case, I use an additional command flatten. If I run this out, 
I'll get a list consists of the elements of list 1 and the elements of list 2. The append and prepend commands are very important commands in combining plots of different ranges of a parameter in a single plot. For example, consider function f as a function of variable x. This is obviously a damped oscillating function with its maximum amplitude equals to a. I want to plot this function for a equal 4 against x varying from 0 to 2. So that I can do by first making a table of the list for each value of x where I am using x as an iterator with increment 0 0.05. If I run this out by using the command list plot, I'll get a plot of the form this. You see, it varies from 0 to 2. Now I want to plot the same function from x varying from 2 to 5 with the same incremental value till 0 0.05. If I run this out and uh, again I plot, I'll get a plot of this kind. This varies from 2 to 5. I want to combine these two plots on a single one. This I can do by using the append command in addition to flatten command. Here in one in the argument is used to flatten the resultant list by removing one pair of curly braces from the result. And I plot now, you see it varies from 0 to 5. The previous two plots are now combined together. So on the list you can use the append and prepend commands for different purposes and complex programs.